pull this off? A show with just one character and an unlimited number of other characters? Cause... Hey, Brian, you want a beer? Peter, Lois is gonna be home soon. Shouldn't you be mowing the lawn? Where'd you get these? Craigslist. Boy, that's gotta be some long list. I have milked all the goats. Peter, all those goats are males. I just hope word doesn't get around. I like good times. We now return to Top Gun with only public domain music. Go to the clam! Peter, I both saw you and recognized my husband's voice. Lois, I, I didn't know you were home. Banana family guy. Enough! My parents will be here any minute. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. It'll it'll figure it out. It's learning. That's that's part of what it does. Hang on to your hat. Clean floor, dead ahead. Good purchase. And the battery's dead. Darling, so wonderful to be here. Gwaz trip around the Monopoly board. <laughs> he has no pants. Gwaz, what's going on here? Well, I asked Peter to mow the lawn. Will somebody turn off Top Gun? Oh, boy. Amber alert. Stewie was last seen with a goat in a 98 Toyota Tercel heading north on I-95. You're completely overwhelmed, and you have four children. <laughs> four children. Four children. <laughs> Four children. You need help, Lois, and since I don't believe in psychiatry, I'm getting you a nanny. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Under parody law, in order to use someone else's character in an unlicensed fashion, we have to provide something called commentary. Now, let's see what else this new nanny has up her sleeve. Hello, I'm Steve. I'll be your server this evening. May I start you off with a cocktail? Oh, this is nice. So, how's work? Good. We've been given this opportunity. It's like before we had kids. We gotta make the most of it. As long as you don't mind a little marinara dipping sauce. That's absolutely disgusting. And I love it. To Natalia for making it possible. Enjoying your wine? Oh, what an amazing night. I told you we could have a fun time, just the two of us. Fun's not over yet. I filled it with water so we can do it hippo style. Weightlessly, with my feet lightly. Did you bring the lettuce? Oh, no, I forgot. Ronald, I asked you to do one thing. Honey, honey, I brought the lettuce. So thanks to Natalia, we've been spending so much more time together. Let me tell you, Joe, it's really been a rediscovery. That's, That's just, just like, like us! us. <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? Imagine myself there, which is why I chuckled. Oh, and Donna, have you seen this blackish? Boy, our friends all seem to be happily married. Yeah, right. You know, Donna told me in the bathroom from the waist up, they're perfect for each other. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Pie and kiss you with black coffee breath. Is that okay? Yes. Now can I do you to a song you know, but sung in German? Hello? I see. What is it? I've been assassinated. Wow, what a night. I guess someone's sleep number is 69. Would you maybe make some coffee and give me a moment? Is, is that something we still want to do? Well, I do if you do. Yes, I do. I mean, we've already had six nights out together. It'd be great to have three more. The same gal again and again and again and again and again. And every gal wants the same guy who keeps getting fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. Stop it right there, Lois. This is family guy. We only do the male side of the joke. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we're going to miss anything around here. Joe, what the hell's going on here? Oh, you didn't hear? Today is the opening of the first ever Spooner Street Farmer's Market. It's really exciting. For 50 cents, you can get your picture taken wearing a farmer's hat. Hey, have a great weekend, you two. So glad you're finding time for each other. Goat meat? Get your goat meat here. Cleveland, are those? Yeah, I have dibs on whatever silliness Peter loses interest in. The mustache obscures my view! <laughs> Hey, do you have the address? I think it's in my pocketbook somewhere. Because I gotta know if we should take 24 or 495. Hang on. Quarter mile. Oh, you'd think I could find it. Yeah, yeah, I would. I would. Okay, I'm taking 495. Here it is. It says take 24 to 128. Chip? Oatmeal raisin. Uh, I guess they stopped serving dinner at 9.30. And please tune in to each other. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha, indeed. And get this. Sorry, no Wi-Fi, but the good news is your marriage has four bars. There's a used condom in the fireplace, and the fireplace is decorative, so that's here to stay. So do you think word just got out in the Daddy Longlegs community like, hey, come to this hotel? Can you notice that? Yeah. 
Can you notice anything in the world other than that? Only that fist-sized moth in the lampshade by the bed. I'll just sleep with the light on. Oh, this. What? That mealy mouth thing you do. Take a sip of water. I don't like water. I like pop. You know what? I'm going to go with the treadmill. Really? Let's go knock on the door of the next room and ask them which one of us is fat. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm not Bradley Hooper. Oh, if you die, can I have all of your nothing? What do you mean, if I die? I've been dead since the minute I said I do. Well, the minute you say I don't, I am out that door. Go. Fine. Far away. It would be so fine to see your face at my door. I reached for you and... I wear double tape deck, the Waldorf and Statler of every thrift store. The selection here stinks. Yeah, and so do the customers. <laughs> Jim Henson died of treatable pneumonia. Holy crap, what happened? I don't know. I, I think I turned into America Ferrera. I don't want this. Help! Someone help! Oh, crap. People we know. You know the drill. We're donating, not buying. <laughs> Just doing our part to give back to the community. Thank you for your service. Huh? My father's a veteran, too. It's just a hat. I didn't think... Thank you for your service. Bless you and all of our veterans. Oh, gosh, I'm, I'm not really a I don't have time to hear the rest of your sentence, but thank you for being a veteran because you're definitely a veteran. You're welcome. Wow, feels real good to be a veteran. Even better than buying a bottle of Newman's Own. Someone just bought a bottle of bland salad dressing. Now we can use all proceeds to do jihad stuff. <laughs> Hey, Peter, what's with the hat? I'm pretending to be a veteran. What? Yeah, it's awesome. Vets get all the sweet deals. I mean, you never see a homeless vet. And people have been really nice everywhere I go. They open doors for me. Guys, you could be veterans, too. Look what happens when I put on sunglasses. I want to try. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Do I need to remind you I actually am a veteran? And I'm sickened by the thought of trolling for free handouts on account of being a vet, much less pretending to be one. Whoa, it's like I'm high-fiving with Anthony Edwards. Dad, Family Guy used two of your songs. Well, that's great, but I'm not your dad. I'm Kenny Loggins, and you're a groupie I brought here for sex. The video camera's ready? Yeah, what's going on? Well, as a veteran, I get to star in a viral YouTube video of me reuniting with my beloved pet. My pet is Christian the Lion. I'm doing two internet things at once. You know, guys, if being a veteran is about anything, it's about getting half-hearted applause on a Southwest Airlines flight. Eric Dane from Marley and me, and other stuff. I'm afraid you gotta give us your front of the plane seats, cause that's what celebrities do for veterans. USS Nathan James? Yes, sir. Boats. Military. Sir. The Nathan James is the fictitious ship on TNT's The Last Ship, starring Adam Baldwin and Jocko Sims. Okay, we ain't real vets. Quagmire served in the Navy. The rest of us are charlatans. Excuse me, gentlemen, you're under arrest. What? Why? You three are in violation of the Stolen Valor Act. Meyer, you're free to go, but the rest of you will have to come with me. I thought we had it bad being gay overhead bins. What makes us gay? We've got bags in our mouths. Hey, quick, put these on. You're not gonna throw a veteran in jail. Is this some kind of joke to you? No, it was a sincere idea. I'm sorry. You made a mockery of our whole family, Glenn. Now everywhere I go, it's like people are staring at me and whispering. You men are accused of violating the Stolen Valor Act, and that's years of jail time. What kind of deal? I'll waive the charges, but only on the condition that you men enlist in the military for real. All right, how about the Coast Guard? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Something happened. Something just happened in court. Glenn, if you were half the man I used to be, you'd stand up and join them. I'm going with them. The four of us will join the Coast Guard together. All right, report to the induction center tomorrow. Court is adjourned. Good morning, recruits. Welcome to the Coast Guard. Sir, when do we report for basic training, sir? Hey, what's with the sir stuff? Hmm, we got any boat guys here? Whoa, look at that. You guys should be recruiting me. Now, can you bounce with the waves a little bit? This is idiotic. This is nothing like what the Navy was. Shh, Quagmire, I gotta focus on my boat here. The way people's talking makes me think we're gonna be dealing with a lot of water. Isn't that the slogan for- We had it first. 
<clears throat> Everybody ships out tomorrow. You'll find your assignments listed on this sheet. Being shipped out to guard freaking spring break. Sweet! All right! Spring break on the land, not the water! No, it's not sweet, it's a joke! This is Marcus. Today's his first day. He's going to be crucifying you now. Uh, sorry, I'm so bad at this. Relax, you're doing fine. 